Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go! Qualification match five begins with all six robots moving off the tarmac. First shots into the upper hub by Cybersonics Team 103. An excellent shot from the cannon, the catapult from 709 Femtech Fatale for the Red Alliance. As drivers take control, real time score shows a slight advantage to the Blue Alliance, which means it's anybody's game. Over on the Red Alliance, 1712 Dogma has got a very interesting spoked wheel intake. They're able to use that to get a piece of blue cargo. They want to keep that away from their opponents. Their teammates direct current 2095, tr tracking their way down the field. Dogma trying to get in the way of Cybersonics, unable to do so in time. Cybersonics get two, one and two pieces of cargo up into the upper hub. That'll get them four points. Meanwhile, we've got an alternating current. Panthera, they're clawing their way around this field, making themselves known. That's Team 714 on the Blue Alliance. Trying to get direct current off the mark. They do. Over by the red driver station, that's 103 Cybersonics that has themselves between a Dogma and a Femtech Fatale. They use that swerve drive to get out of the way. Here we see some very interesting drive strategies in this match. As throughout this competition, we'll see how the build strategy and the build design influences these robots. With over one minute remaining in this match, Team 2234 alternating current, who has played each of the last two weeks of competition, First at Happer Horsham, then at the Finger Lakes Regional. They're already on the high rung, trying to make their way up to the traversal. If they're able to stay up there, that'll get them 15 points to the end of the match. Great job by Dogma pushing Cybersonics just off the mark. With just over 30 seconds remaining, Femtech Fatale, they're lined up underneath the high rung for the Red Alliance. They latch themselves onto the mid with 30 seconds remaining. One last shot by Cybersonics just off the mark. Now we're climbing high in the hangar zones. With 20 seconds remaining, alternating current is on the traversal rung for the Blue Alliance. They're joined by Cybersonics on the men, making their way to the high rung with 10 seconds remaining. For the Red Alliance, Dogma is on the mid rung. Can Femtech Fatale join them with three, two, one? Femtech Fatale not able to hang in time. Meanwhile, 103 Cybersonic swinging on the high rung for blue. The Blue Alliance wins qualification match number five with our new high score for the day, 81 to 20. That gets the Blue Alliance three ranking points, two for the win, one for the hangar bonus.